How's it going everybody? My name is Salty and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the best class setup for the Howard 77 here in Black Ops Cold War. Now before we get started, I want you guys to make sure you hit that subscribe button for me so you don't miss any of my daily Call of Duty videos. We're now on the road to 13,000 subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough. Make sure to also smash the like button. That's the easiest and most effective way to support the channel. Let's jump right into it. Now, the Howard 77 is by no means my favorite shotgun in the game. When it comes down to it, I'd have to put the Street Sweeper in the number one spot, but it's still an extremely viable secondary option. And as you'll see in the gameplay, it can technically be used as a primary if you just prepare yourself for the fact that you need to be on small maps and in close quarters engagements. So let's jump into the class uh, setup that we have here for you guys today. Now, starting with the duck bill choke. So we have 50% wider pellet spread. This is just going to make the bullet spread or the pellet spread wider. Therefore, you can hip fire and be a little more accurate. Now for the barrel, I'm going with a 24.1 inch Ranger for plus 33% to our effective damage range, bringing it up to 8.47 meters with a 159 damage. Down to the body, we have the five milliwatt laser. You want the most amount of hip fire accuracy here. Pretty self-explanatory with a shotgun. Down to the magazine, we have the Stanag eight round tube. As you guys can see, the only negative is reload quickness because we have to reload individually each shell. So it's just a plus here. Might as well put as many bullets into the weapon as possible. And finishing us off, we have the no stock. This is going to be for the most amount of sprint to fire time. Now the sprint to fire time on the Howard is actually not great when the no stock is not on it. So for an example, if we go with the duster pad here, it's a 400 uh, milliseconds, which is not great. And after everything's said and done, that's very below average, especially for this game when it comes to sprint to fire speed. So that no stock is actually a huge attachment here on the build. We're about to jump over into a game plan Nuketown. I know some of you are tired of watching some Nuketown, but really when it comes down to secondary weapons, there's not really another map that I can play on and find success while using secondaries as primary weapons. So I'm sorry for that. We're gonna have another gameplay later on tonight with the MAC-10 that will 100% be on another map. I'm gonna do my best to keep pushing out the normal maps here in the videos, also getting some S&D content out there as I get the videos. But without further ado, let's jump into this. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, we have a Howard. I'm not going for a nuke. I'm just being up front. Um, what? Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm not going for a nuke with a Howard. I'm not my favorite shotgun in the world. That's basically my full assessment as to why. Where the heck is that guy? Where is he? Oh, he's literally sitting in a corner. Okay, my team's not helping much. Okay. Okay. I'm going to pull this out. All right, if we can stay in here, we're going to be good. Somebody's mic was horrendous. I'm not getting many one shots. I think it has to do. I actually think it has to do. I was going to say something I forgot. With my con internet connection. See, the guy should have been a one shot. My, I don't think my internet connection is great. This is the hill that gives me some trouble here. Okay. 
Okay. Maybe I will try to go for a new here. If things work in my favor. Okay, they're going to try to push the hill. There's one bad part of this situation, though, is my team's sitting on the stairs, and they know he's there, so they're going to keep trying to push him right there. I can't really do anything. I'm also... Extremely afraid of that RPD guy. Alright. I didn't realize I was actually that close. Okay, I need to actually play the hill. My team's getting walloped. I need to chill. I need to win win the game. gonna spawn back here. Uh, I don't think anybody else is gonna spawn in. Really? We're not gonna play the hill? Alright. Oh my gosh, I'm alive! Was it the RPD? It was the RPD guy, I knew it would be. Alright, we're gonna win the game now. They're not gonna get anybody else spawning in either. So we got a nuke. I wasn't going to try for that. I was just going to honestly get, go for like, I don't know, 80 kills or something. So this works. Kind of just want the game to end now. Smokes. 
That's my teammate throwing smokes as well. L. Just an absolute L. Yeah, it's my teammate. It's my teammate throwing smokes, man. And he keeps dying, so he just keeps chucking him. Plays just aim down the scope the whole game. It's almost impossible to counter. I made them pull out Howers. That's kind of crazy. This game's gone on too long, man. I do not like this guy. I don't like him. I don't think they saw me there. I just want the game to end, man. This guy is ruthless on the hill. Get off the hill, team. I just want the team to get off the hill, man. Let the game end. There's eight seconds. We've been playing against four people. And I still had to get a death in by this guy with the RPD. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you could make sure you hit that like button for me, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to the channel, make sure you also smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.